you want to understand what a turn of the 20th century sweatshop looked like, all you got to do is go to an Amazon warehouse for a day. If you're giving great customer experience, the only way to do that is with happy people. My mental health definitely suffered working there. You can't do it with a set of miserable people. The longer I stayed there, the more the work wore on me, the more I began to notice subtle things about my mental health that started raising red flags to me and said, okay, something needs to change because this ain't working. That's kind of the, the feeling that I got, especially towards the very end where I'm just like, I could very easily be classified as clinically depressed. Physically, everything that you hear about working at Amazon is true. You're walking miles a day. I lived with my family at the time and, and I'd get home and first thing I'd do is I'd just lay down on the couch and have somebody get one of those little massager things and put it on my back with a heat pad because my back was so stiff I could not bend over. I was popping Tylenol like m and in order to get through my day. I went through a whole pair of, a brand new pair of shoes from the time I started to the time I ended there. Got a new pair of tennis shoes and after working there five and a half months, these tennis shoes, I, I won't say they were totally destroyed, but but they're nice round the house sneakers now. I most certainly can't go running with them. These are running shoes. Yeah, the insurance was nice, but a $4,000 deductible, no thank you. I mean, at that point, why bother having insurance? Anytime a deductible is over $1,000, that to me is just kind of posing the question of, why do you bother even providing that? If you actually have to go to the ER and you have to pay $1,000 out of pocket before insurance will even look at you, before they even give you the privilege of denying your claim, it's like, what's the point? And Amazon's plans are no different. My father's position, his assessment was the same as mine. Yeah, this health insurance plan is nice if you're already in good health. There were a lot of people who were older, you know, we're talking like 40s, 50s, 60s that were working there. That health insurance plan they provided was most certainly not going to be able to meaningfully provide assistance to them if they got hurt on the job. Amazon fought tooth and nail against workers' comp as well. They would hunt for reasons to not have to deal with workers' comp. I'm very proud of the culture that we have at Amazon. I would suggest to the upper management, take a hard look at working conditions. Don't just visit the facility for one day and think that you know what's going on in your facilities. I really wish that Jeff Bezos would do one of those undercover boss things where they actually go to a facility and work as a packer for a week. No special conditions, no special treatment of any kind, and experience the conditions that everyone else experiences. And if you walk away saying, yeah, everything's fine and dandy, I'll disagree with you, but I'll respect you a little more for going through that and still coming to that conclusion. My strong suspicion is that most of the people who work in the executive level of Amazon have either never stepped inside a facility or have never been meaningfully exposed to what working at that company is actually like.